Hi friends, so we are starting today's tutorial by going to the Sepulia faucet. We are going to get some Sepulia ETH that we need for this cruel Sepulia interactions. So I'm going to leave the link to the faucet in the comment section. Just click on it for your convenience. So you can, on this faucet, you can get 0.5 Sepulia ETH per day. So you are going to enter your wallet address that you are going to use for the interaction and you will tap on send me ETH. Make sure you complete the capture at the bottom of the send me ETH button. Almost instantly your Sepulia ETH will be deposited to your wallet address and we are going to be doing our very first interaction for the day. We are going to scroll.io slash portal. I will also leave the link in the comment section for your convenience. So what we want to do on this uh, scroll portal is we want to add scroll Sepulia to our MetaMask. So first of all, connect your wallet. Enter your credentials and unlock your wallet. Tap on connect wallet for scroll Sepulia. Add it to your MetaMask. Approve it in your wallet. Switch network to scroll Sepulia. Also follow the same procedure and add Ethereum Sepulia to your MetaMask. Tap on add to MetaMask and confirm in your wallet just like we did earlier and when you are done we are going to scroll.io slash bridge we want to perform some bridging between ethereum sepolia and scroll sepolia so you are going to connect your wallet okay so i will be bridging from ethereum sepolia to scroll sepolia so i will have ethereum sepolia that is the one at the bottom i will have it at the top as the sender chain and i will have scroll sepulia at the bottom as the receiver chain so that will require me switching network to ethereum sepulia so i am done switching network then i'm going to enter the amount of ethereum sepulia that i want to bridge to scroll sepulia i'll be bridging 0.25 so i'll tap on send it here to scroll sepulia Then I will confirm the transaction in my wallet. Okay, so the transaction is pending. Bridging often takes longer time compared with when you just want to do normal swap. My balance is showing zero, which means the Ethereum Sepolia I bridged have not yet arrived on scroll Sepolia. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back after a while. So I came back after 20 minutes at this point and I refreshed my browser, but the transaction is still pending. It has not yet been completed. So I wanted to bridge back from scroll Sepolia back to Ethereum Sepolia. But since my balance is still showing zero, I couldn't do that. So I will leave that for a while. And I'll go and do other tasks then I will come back later hopefully by then the transaction would have been successful so next I'll be visiting testnet.simbiosis.finance I, I am going to leave the link in the comment section for your convenience So connect your wallet before you do anything. Connect with MetaMask. So from our sender chain, I'm going to choose the network I want to transfer from. First of all, I transferred from Gweli. And I made the receiver chain to be scroll Sepolia. We are interacting between Gweli and Sepolia now. Then I enter the amount of Gweli ETH that I'll be bridging to scroll Sepolia. I'll be bridging 0.02 Gweli ETH to scroll Sepolia. This required me to switch network to Gweli ETH first, so I'll be doing that. So 
I have switched my network to Gweli ETH, then I'll be swapping from Gweli ETH now to scroll Sepolia. I'll confirm in my wallet and this can also take a while because we are bridging from one chain to another. It is not just ordinary swapping. So I left and came back after some minutes and the bridging was successful. We have been able to bridge from Gweli to Scroll Sepolia. So I'll be making a second transaction and this time I'll be making some bridging between Scroll Sepolia and Gweli ETH. I have some wrapped ETH on Scroll Sepolia so I'll be choosing wrapped ETH to be sent from Scroll Sepolia as the sender chain and I'll be making Gweli ETH to as my receiver chain and I'll be sending to Ethereum, Gweli ETH. So I enter 0.01 wrapped ETH as the amount I want to reach from scroll Sepolia. And this required me to switch my network network back to scroll Sepolia. Remember I switched to Gweli earlier, so I have to switch back to Gwe, so I scroll Sepolia this time. So I'll enter the amount of wrapped ETH that I want to send again. I enter 0.01. I'll tap on next. Okay, I re-enter 0.02 and I tapped on next. First of all, I need to approve the wrapped ETH before I can be able to swap. So the approval is done. Now I can before I can swap, I need to update rates because it has taken some time. Now I can swap, I'll tap on swap and then I'll confirm the swap in my wallet. The bridging also took a while so I left and then returned after some minutes and when I came back the transaction was successful. So the transaction is successful now and I'll be moving on to the next task. So we are going to Uniswap now. This is the Uniswap uh, fork for scroll for scroll testnet. The link is very long. I can't be pronouncing it one by one, but I'm going to put it in the comment section as well. Every link that you need for this tutorial will be in the comment section. Okay, so here we are. You're going to connect your wallet. Make sure you are on the scroll network, just like you can see on my screen. So connect your wallet. So we are on the scroll network and we are going to be performing some swap here. So at the moment there are no other tokens for, to use for testing. So the only available token is ETH. So I'll be wrapping some ETH. To wrap, I'm going to tap on select token and I'm going to choose wrapped ETH. If you try to search for other tokens here, you won't have any result. So I'll only be wrapping ETH. So tap on wrapped ETH and wrap some ETH. Tap on I understand and enter the amount of ETH that you would like to wrap. I'll be wrapping 0.01 ETH. Then tap on the wrap button. Tap on confirm. And the transaction is pending. So next let's check if we can see anything we can do in the liquidity pool. Let's tap on new position and check it out. Sele select a token. Let's see if there will be a pool for appearing for ETH and draft ETH. Okay, so we can't select any pairing for the liquidity pool, which means we can't add any token to, li to liquidity at the moment. So I am going to leave that function and we'll move on to the next thing. So remember that I wanted to bridge back from Scroll Sepolia earlier, but the fund haven't arrived on Scroll Sepolia. Now we have some funds on Scroll Sepolia and I am back now on scroll.io slash bridge to bridge back from Scroll Sepolia to Ethereum Sepolia. So tap on those two checkboxes before you'd be able to bridge back to Ethereum Sepolia. Then tap on continue. Confirm that in your wallet.
So if you go to the sidebar menu, you will see that our first interaction when we bridged from Ethereum Sepolia to Scroll Sepolia is successful. And this second one that we are currently doing is pending. So you can see that here. So while the second one is pending, I don't have anything to do with it at the moment. Then we are going to move on to the next thing. So you are going to open your MetaMask itself, the extension. And just like we did in the previous tutorial yesterday, you are going to send some cross Sepolia to another Ethereum address. So you want to make sure that you are on this cross Sepolia testnet network. Then tap on send and enter any Ethereum address. If you don't have any Ethereum address that you can send to, you can let me know in our Telegram group and I will send you one of my Bona wallets. Then enter the amount of scroll Sepolia that you want to send. I'll be sending 0.05. Then tap on next and tap on confirm. And that's the end of today's video. The transaction is pending. It will soon be sent. The transaction is sent. That will be the end of today's video. There is one more step, but if I were to add it to this video, it would be too long and it will become boring so we'll be doing that tomorrow and i think that will be our final interaction for the scroll testnet so if you have any question drop me a comment or join us on telegram in our telegram group you can ask your questions we also have other updates that make it to our telegram groups but don't make it to youtube most of the time so you may want to join us the link is in the comment section and every link that you need for Today's uh, testnet tutorial, every link I used in the video is in the comment section as well. If you have found value in any of my contents, do not forget to subscribe for more and also like this video. The more you like this video, the more the algorithm sees it as something useful and then show it to more people to see it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another tutorial.